Hi, this is Lee Wynn from SCBWI Team Blog, and I'm here with Eric Velasquez, the illustrator of Schomburg. Yeah, hi. go for it. Schomburg, the man who built the library. And you're not just the illustrator, you just uh, shared with me that this was your idea, huh? Absolutely. Uh, Schomburg was a childhood hero of mine from uh, the third grade. Uh, when I discovered that he was from Puerto Rico, and actually the same town in Puerto Rico, Santuce, where my grandmother was from. So in 2006, I approached Carol Boston Weatherford with the idea of perhaps writing a manuscript for me, and she was thrilled because she had gone to the Schomburg Center many times to do research. So she embarked on this long voyage doing a lot of research, and we discovered so many things. So the book is not a linear uh, biography. It, it includes a lot of the things that Arturo discovered. Uh, and his trip begins when in 1874, he asks his teacher in the fifth grade in Puerto Rico, why is it that he's not reading about kids that, that uh, be about people that look like him in the books? And his teacher says his people don't have a history. He spends the rest of his life proving that woman wrong by making various discoveries. He discovers Benjamin Banneker. He discovers Toussaint Louverture. He discovers David Walker. And ultimately discovers that throughout history there have been many wonderful people that were biracial that history has chosen to forget. James Audubon, whose mother was French Creole. Alexander Dumas, his father was an African and um, fierce warrior, uh, soldier, general in Napoleon's army. We have Alexander Pushkin, the Russian poet who his father was an African and then of course the great Beethoven whose mother was from Northern Africa. And not many people know this to this day, but these I are, didn't know it. Aha, it's amazing. These are the discoveries that Arturo Schomburg made. So the book basically chronicles a little bit of his life, the idea of a library as a communal space, born with Arturo Schomburg, who was fond of getting together with artists and writers and let them communicate with each other, which is exactly how this book was born, with an art, with an illustrator and a writer communicating. So it's a wonderful book, and I call it the gift that keeps on giving. Please, if you don't already own it, buy it, read it, I'll even sign it if you <laughs> find me. Well, congratulations, Eric. We're Thank so you. thrilled for you and for Carol. It looks like a beautiful book, and we're cheering you on. Thank you. Thank you.